name is Dr. Talisa and this is Dr. K. Today we'll be teaching you some core exercises that you can do at home and this will help strengthen the area. Okay, let's start with the first one. Do you want to lie on your back for me? Alright, for the first one, we'll get her to bend one knee. And keep the other one straight. Now with that one, you just want to raise this part up. Remember this exercise is to work on your core muscles. So you want to make sure that this area right here is the one that's being activated. And this one right here, it doesn't have to be too high up. Just a good height around this level would be just nice. Okay. You want to start off by doing this for about 10 seconds and as you get more comfortable, you can do it for 30 seconds or even 1 minute. So the next exercise that we'll be doing is called the glute bridges. With this one, we want to make sure that the legs are reasonably apart, so at around um, hip width. And then for this one, we want to make sure as well, it's a core exercise, so again, we want to make sure that this area you are in a brace position where if someone punch you, you're just like contracting that whole area, okay? And then for the glute part, you want that to make sure that that part is squeezed really tight. Okay, as soon as you get got all that right, you're just going to lift this part up. Okay, you want to make sure that this whole area is in a reasonably straight line. Okay, now... Once you get comfortable with this, you can move on to the next stage, which is just keeping one knee straight. Okay, again with this one, you want to make sure that you don't drop this part, so this part needs to go back up. Okay, and again, you are in this nice straight line. Okay, you can come down now. You want to do that again for about 10 seconds. If it gets easy, 30 seconds up to a minute. Okay, or you could do it two to three times of 30 seconds. So for the next core exercise, we're going to start with a tabletop position. For this position, we want to make sure that our arms is right below our shoulders and our knees are right below our hips. So we want to make sure that we're all aligned and this part right here, we want to keep it nice and flat. Okay, we'll start off by getting her to raise one leg, straighten that one leg. Yep. With this one again, it is a core exercise, so you want to make sure that this area is still nice and tight when you do this, okay? Raising that leg up, you want to make sure that everything again is nice and straight. You, you will repeat that on both sides. This one up please. Yep, and again, we want this nice and straight. Okay, once you get comfortable with this one, you want to keep this leg straight and we will raise the opposite arm as well. Okay, notice how she's still in this really nice and straight position. That's the position that we need to stay in for the whole exercise. Okay, and again, this part just make sure that it's not too arch, it's nice and tight in the core area. Again, you want to do this for about 10 seconds. Once you get more comfortable, hold it for 30 seconds up to a minute. You can repeat this for two to three times or 30 seconds. The next exercise that we'll be doing is called the plank on your elbows. Okay, so we'll get her into a nice brace position again. Okay, for this one, we want to make sure that again, our elbows are beneath our shoulders on both sides. And your legs, you want to keep that about hip width apart. Okay, and this area, we want it nice and flat. Again, this is a core exercise, so we want to make sure that this area right here, our core muscles are nice and contracted, our quads are contracted, our glutes are contracted, okay? And with her one right here, we just want that to go a bit lower, just to get her to open up that chest area so that everything is again nice and flat. Again, you want to be doing that for about 10 seconds, hold it for about 30 seconds, or up to 60 seconds once you get comfortable with it. Hi guys, right now we're gonna go through the upper back exercises. So come close, I need you to see this. So what 
probably one, the concept of the upper back exercise is I don't want you rolling your shoulders back, I just want you to imagine there's a pen in between there and you squeeze that together and down. So she's actually doing a lot of shoulder rolling, so no shoulder rolling, just bringing that, yep, and down. So you want to activate that upper back muscle. Okay, so let's start with the first one, it's called diamond press, so I'll get you on your tummy for me, Dr. Talisa. So in this position, you want to put a create a diamond in front of your face and just relaxing in it. And now remembering that squeezing motion. And in this position, keeping your head neutral, I want you to lift sort of like a half push up and hold that there. You don't want to feel anything here. You only want to feel that there. And starting off with 10 seconds to begin with, if you find that difficult, just start with five and then increase it over time. Okay. Okay, the next one we're going to do, it's called a double arm raise. So we're going to relax now. What we're going to do, we're going to put the arm straight in front of us on the floor. Same thing, I want you to imagine there's a pen in between those shoulder blades. Squeeze them together. And it's like Superman. So lift the arm up off the ground and holding that. No leg movement, nothing in the lower back, everything in this section only. Okay. Once you're good at this, you think it's manageable, we can then proceed to do the dart. So relaxing that one. Now, with the dart is arms behind your back. Only proceed with this one if you're good at the Superman version of it. So same thing, squeezing that together. You're only lifting your arms off the ground about that much and holding it. You're not feeling anything here again, all in the upper back muscles. This next exercise is called arm opening exercise. I want you laying on your side like how Dr. Talisa is, but making sure your hips and knees are bent. This actually stops that over rotation in the trunk section. So you start off with your palms together like so. All you're doing is you're opening that up, your eyes following your thumb, going all the way as far as you go. If your eyes doesn't follow, that's fine. Just let the arm drop back. You want to feel that opening through there and then you basically repeat go back to palms being closed and you actually do this 10 times on each side right the next exercise I'm going to get you to sit up for me so remembering the first concept we had earlier was drawing that shoulder back and down but this time she's going to hold presumably weights but we're going to use water bottles in this instance so we're going to keep those elbows tight to her body and all she does is engage that back muscle and bringing her shoulders all the way up to the side and holding that. So starting with 10 seconds and going up in increments. Okay, now we're going to do some neck exercises. With the first few, we are going to go into all fours. Okay. Again, with this one, you want to make sure that your hand is below your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. So both sides, you want it nice and white. Okay? Now, with this one, you want to make sure that this is a tabletop again, nice and flat. The first one that we'll be doing is, I'll get her to reach her ear to that shoulder right there, just turning that way. Okay, you want to hold that for about 10 seconds and build that up accordingly. Okay, do that on both sides again. Okay, just make sure with this one that the aim is just reaching your ears to your shoulder. For the next one, we'll do the rotation one. So meaning looking to the right. So you just want to turn your head to the side. Okay, and turning to the other side again. Again, just make sure that everything here is still nice and flat. Last one, we want to be looking down. Okay, for this one, when we are looking down, we want to be hunched in this position. Now, as she flattens this part down, you want to look up. So with nice arch. Okay, so you repeat that, going down. Again, nice hunch right there, nice and rounded and going down flat, looking up. All right. You want to do that in about, for about 10 times, okay? 